Sunday morning to you, Feliz Domingo por la mañana, and we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Welcome all the NBC family, visitors, and all those that are joining us by audio or video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. Amen. Amen. Don't leave here the same. Leave changed. Yes. Amen. Because he's got something for you. You know, we never seem to catch. You know, he told the fishermen, he says, go out and cast your nets. Uh -huh. And these uh, professional fishermen are thinking, like, we know what we're doing. Uh -huh. We just came back and there was no fish. Uh -huh. He says, go cast your nets on this side. And they did. And guess what? <laughs> he came back and he got on his knees and said, thank you. Amen. Uh -huh. We need to receive whatever God has for us. You know, it may not be something big, but it'll do something big for you. Amen. Amen. Maybe just one word. So don't leave the same. Amen. He wants to uh, He wants to bless you. He wants to uh, encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct you. Amen. Yeah. So be ready. He has great plans for you and none of them include defeat. That's right. Be, we talked about this last week. Be available for him. Amen. Be available. Yeah. We're always disqualifying ourselves. Be, he has qualified you already. Yeah. Don't wait for God with the world approval. He's already approved you. <laughs> so see yourself that way. You're a winner. Amen. You're a champion. And you're an overcomer. So yes. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So we promise we won't keep you long. Hallelujah. But uh, we want you to grab what God has for you. It's not for somebody else. It's for you. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves. Thank you, I want to read you a nugget here I have for you. It says spend time Amen. in the word and then watch your faith increase. Yeah. So we walk by faith, not by sight. The Bible says yeah. it is impossible to please, please God. Yes. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Uh -huh. So guess what? Spend time in the Word. Then watch your faith increase. Amen. And watch your faith decrease. Yes. When you fill yourself with the Word of God, your faith Amen. grows. Amen. And fear has to go. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Well, I'm going to be talking to you about don't give up. And don't fear. Amen. Yes. So listen to this. And get yourselves ready. Before we do that, let's make this declaration together. Grab your sword, grab your Bible, and say it like I mean it. Amen. So let's say this. This is my Bible. I, I, I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. It's his word. And you know what? We use his word. And we need to study the word and we need to speak the word and we need to live it yes. amen so praise yes. god don't give up don't fear here we do what we do is we draw close to him yes. when we draw close to him he'll draw close to us yes, amen it's also called a relationship uh -huh. when you have a relationship with him amen you get to know your god better yes. amen and you start walking in the word yeah Woo, praise god amen. when things are going bad when things sounds bad, when there's a negative media bombarding you oh, daily, yeah. Yeah. All the time. people bombarding you mm -hmm. daily with negative things, amen? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, amen? Mm -hmm. One place to turn for guidance, one place to turn for help, mm -hmm. and this help is for eternity. Yes. It's not a temporary fix, it's a permanent fix, right. amen? Right. A permanent fix, running into the open arms of our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ, Thank amen? You. Let's remember this. <laughs> You know, let's not magnify the problem. Magnify right. your God. Amen? Amen. So, running into the loving arms of our Savior Amen. that will help those who are hurting, those who are seeking Him, those who are drawing close to Him. So, step out in faith and not in fear. You, some of us need to step out of our yeah. uh, bump. Some of us need to step out of our uh, uh, comfort zone uh -huh. because we're so comfort, so comfy, you know. We don't want to move anymore. We just want to lay still. We're not participating. We're just sitting, spectating. Well, you know, we weren't called to spectate. You were called to be a participator, Yeah. you know, and he wants you to participate. He's called you to do something. He's qualified you to do something and put yeah. gifts in you. So get involved. Get busy for the things of God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo, how many of you this morning desire this from God? Amen. Amen. I mean, you got to say, man, that's for me. I was ready. This this message is for me. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We want to do, you know, He is wants us to 
All we need to do is change directions. Yeah. Do an about face. You know, that was a big command in the, in the military. We do an about face. It means turn around 180 degrees. Turn around, come back. Yeah. Change directions. You know, we're going, we're going in the world's direction right now. But when we change directions, we're going God's way. Yeah. Hey, praise God. I'm not no longer going that way. I'm going his way. Amen. And uh, you can write this down. James 4 and 8. There we go. Thank you, Carmen. Give thanks for your blessings. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, on a daily basis. Just thank Him, you know. We, a few weeks ago, we were talking about count your blessings. Uh -huh. So, give thanks on a daily basis for your blessings. Go to the next one. Then look at this one. Count your blessings, not your anxieties, not your cares, not your fears, not your worries, not your problems. Right. You're too blessed to be stressed. You know, if you're, stre if you're stressed out, that means you need to spend time with Him. Uh -huh. Amen. You need to renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. We ha I have to do something. Oh, I've got one coming up. Here we go. Draw near to God and He'll draw near to you. Keep going. Yes. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up here's a word of the day don't give up there too many people giving up yeah as a child of god you're too blessed to be stressed you're too blessed to be given up amen that's not an option lord i need your strength jesus went to the father on a daily basis and asked for strength so if he need, if he can do it so can we lord i need your strength every day like I said, you're bombarded with negative things all the time. You see negative things, read negative things. So, Lord, I need, I need to, I need your strength. And I need to renew my mind. Yeah. You know, they want you to think a certain way. But I go and, and read the Word so I can be thinking what the Word of God says. It's the truth that's going to set you free. Amen. Yeah. Keep going. Here we go. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not changing. If things have changed, it's because you walked away. Right, right. He didn't walk away. He's the same. He's there for you all the time. All Amen. The time. So praise God. So draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Second Timothy says, uh, 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. And see, the way it sounds right now is they're bombarding you with negative things to put fear in you. Amen. But as a child of God, I know better. Yeah. I need to go and strengthen myself. I need to go and renew my mind with the things of God so I will not fear. So that I can continue to walk in faith. Amen. Amen. Keep walking in faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by fear. Right. Amen. So, hey, if I'm walking in faith, I'm going to step out. Right. Whatever he says, I'm going to do. Why? Amen. Because he said it. And I'm going to believe what he says. Amen. So praise God. Keep going, Carmen. Thank you, Lord. There we go. This is the one I uh, wanted you to see. <laughs> if God seems far away, guess who? Uh. <laughs> you can write that down, okay? Mm -hmm. If he seems far away, well, he's yeah. not there. I don't feel this. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? <laughs> he didn't move. We moved. Right. We just read, he's the same yesterday today, and forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So he hasn't changed. He hasn't moved. Right. We moved. He's one word away, and he's one step away. All you need to do is change directions. Amen. Don't start walking with the world. Doing about face and change that. Take that step back. Amen. Yes. Keep going, man. This that's good. Mm -hmm. it says, "I will not leave you nor forsake you." That's it. In Joshua one five, write those down. Amen. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Lord, I need you now more than ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. I need you more now than ever before. Yes. Amen. And now, you know, hey, I hear, keep hearing these things, <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> it ain't gonna get any better. That's it. As a child of God, keep yourself straight. Keep yourself uh, strong by feeding on the word. Yes. If you don't spend time with Him and feed on the word. You're going to be just like the world, confused and not knowing what to do. Amen? Fearful. Keep going. It says, Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you 
nor forsake you. He doesn't change. I'm God, he says, I change now. But I will never leave you and forsake you. So if you feel alone, if you feel uh, lonely, <laughs> you need to come back to him. Amen. Also, Matthew 11, 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And I am gentle, I says, I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Let me read to you from the easy to read. It says, Come to me, all of you who are tired from the heavy burdens you have been forced to carry. Yeah. He tells us, and we're gonna we're gonna read all these scriptures in a few minutes, yes. but Thank you, Lord. he says, Cast all these things on, on mm -hmm. him because he cares for you. Amen. He didn't make you to carry all these extra weights on That's right. you. Amen. We're carrying things that we're not able to do. I mean, we're not supposed to. But he won't, He put you on a mission. And for you to fulfill your mission, you got to, Lord, I'm casting all these things on you. I'm carrying too much. I'm yes. worrying too much. I got too much going on. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy. Amen. Yeah. Rings a bell there somewhere. <laughs> he says, come to me, all of you who are tired and heavy ha for, from heavy burdens. You have been yeah. forced to carry. Right. I will give you rest. Yeah. Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. Yeah. And you will be able to get some rest. Yes, yes, the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. The Lord I give you to carry is light. Right. Amen. He's not going to give you more than you can that you that you can uh, take or carry. Amen. So, yeah. man, these are, these, these, these are good. And, you know, nowadays, the way things are going right now, you know, it's just negative and fearful if you allow yourself to go that way. Yeah. And you got to be careful who you hang out with because <laughs> they're going right. to, if, they, if they're not for God, they're for the enemy. Mm -hmm. And the enemy is going to use people all around right you now. to speak all the negative things about you. Mm -hmm. So don't get into that. I said, yeah. yeah. Let yourself, you know, when I say step out of your boat, maybe it's time mm -hmm. you step out of your boat. Yeah. And when they're passing out all the negative things, uh -huh. you step out and you say, you know what? I'm for Jesus. Uh -huh. And I, I'm strong. And I'm glad. And I keep my family uh, under the blood of Jesus, you know. I pray for my family every day so they don't come up with this coronavirus. So they don't come under any of this negative yeah. stuff that you guys are passing around, you know. And you guys can have the same thing. Now you're a witness for him. Amen. You're a minister of reconciliation. Galatians, uh, we, we read it already, but I'll read it to you again. Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall we shall reap yes. if we faint not. Yes. Don't go by the wayside. Don't give up. That's it. Don't be fearful. Don't give up. You know what? God is on our side. Amen. Yes, Remember who, whose you are and who's for you. Right. God is for me. Amen. So praise God. I'm going to win inside. Not yes. lose inside. Draw near to Him and He will draw close to you. Right, right. Here's what you do. Let go and let God. He says, if you take it to the cross, leave it there. Uh -huh. Cast it on Him. Give it to Him. Yeah. But leave it at the cross. Don't right. take it back. Amen. So let go and let God. You know who's holding on to it? And the enemy is going to see to it. People, he's going to use people, and they're going to tell you, man, this thing is not working for you. It's still the same. I'm not giving up. Amen. I'm giving it up. I'm casting it on him. First Peter 5 and 6. Keep going. I've got some good ones for you. Draw near to God no matter how dirty. You can be clean again no matter how lost. You can be found again no matter how broken. You can be whole again. Amen. There's hope. Remember, people are going by the wayside because they're giving up. Because nobody shared with them. But Jesus died for them too. So you are his voice. You're his ambassador. You're his minister of reconciliation that you can reach those people that are giving up. Say, wait a minute. There's hope for you. Amen. Salvation is free. All you have to do is confess his word. Amen. And receive it. And you shall be saved. Amen. First Peter 5 and 6. 5, excuse me, 5, 6 through 8. New King James says, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, 
that he may exalt you in due time. And we always read verse 7. It says, casting all cares mm -hmm. upon him because he careth for you. Amen. See, be sober, be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Because your adversary, the devil, he walks around as a roaring lion seeking yeah. to make him out. And right. we've, we've said this many times. Guard your words. Yes. Because he's walking around seeing what's coming out of you. Right. And your actions. What are you saying? Uh -huh. Amen. When you say negative things, you open the door for him to come in. Right. Amen. So I'm not going to say it anymore. I'm not going to speak it anymore. Amen. I have my job to do. He's done it what his job. He's done what he had to do, but I need to do my job. Okay? And that's to guard my words. I don't have to say it. Somebody said it. Don't mean I have to repeat. That's right. Amen. You're not a pair. Mm. Just hold it. Yeah. Jesus held his words many yes, times. He, did. he held his word. He put a guard and said, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it. So we can do the mm -hmm. same thing. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens you. Yes. Lord, I need your strength right now because yeah. you know what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> you want to lay hands on him? Oh, <laughs> you want to tell him off? Uh. You want to do some negative things, but don't do it. Right. Amen? Don't, don't, don't let it go that far, you know, because once you open up, uh. it's just going to pour out. That's it. So instead of just pouring out negative stuff, mm -hmm. pour out positive things. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so you ever saw the devil? He walked around as a roaring lion, yes. like a roaring lion, seeking mm -hmm. who he may devour. Hallelujah. Let me read it to you. Yeah. In and the Amplified says like this. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Right. Set aside self-righteous pride mm -hmm. so that he may exalt you to be a place of honor right. in his service uh -huh. at the appropriate time. Cast all cares, all anxieties. Right. All, all your worries yes. and all your concerns once and for all. Yeah. We got to listen to what the word is saying so yes. we can do it. Man, that's what I need. Well, mm. then start confessing it. Amen. Amen. Start confessing it. On him, for he cares about you with deepest affection mm -hmm. and watches over you very carefully. Be yeah. sober well balanced and self-disciplined right. be alert be cautious at all times yeah. the enemy of yours the devil prowls around like a roaring lion mm -hmm. fearfully fiercely hungry seeking someone to devour yeah he wants to take you down mm -hmm. amen you're a child of god he knows you need to know you're a child of god and i can do what i used to do i can't do those things anymore and i don't want to do them anymore because I'm a child of God now. Mm -hmm. So just call on Jesus. Yes. <laughs> He's one prayer away. He's one step away. Yeah. Do an about face. Do a turnaround. Yes. You know what? I don't have to follow the crowd anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't have to follow the world anymore. If I if it's just me, then so be it. But if it's not it's not just you. It's you and him. Amen. It's just you and him. Bible heroes call on him. If Bible heroes call on him, so can we. I want you to know there's Bible heroes that God used that still sin, and God used them. Yes. So, whatever you've done in your past, if you've confessed it to him, he says he'll forgive, forgive you and forget about it. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing. Don't be a prisoner of your, of your past. Yes, yes. Amen. That's the thing of the past. It's gone. Right. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Now it's time to recharge and fire up and press on. Stir yourself up in the things of God and press on with Him. Amen? Yeah. Ooh, come on now. Somebody needed it there. Yes, <laughs> if you didn't, I'll take it. Jesus called the Father for strength daily. Yeah. If Jesus called on the Father daily, guess what? We need to do the same thing. Right. Yeah. Lord, I need you. You know, there's giants out there. There's people want to tear you up. Mm. Amen? People want to do all kind of right. bad things to you. Say bad things to you. No, I need to prepare myself on a daily basis just to be with you. Give me the strength I need to go and do and minister the things you want me to say or do. It's best to go with his blessing. And yeah. if, amen. <laughs> if, if, if Jesus did, so can we. Right, right. The prodigal son, finally, he left. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. A lot of us done the same thing. Mm -hmm. We was out. <laughs> we was gone. Man, mm -hmm. we stayed out there 
but we came back see so when we saw ourselves uh, down and out said hey lord i need you right. and he came back home we need to do the same thing somebody listening mm -hmm. it's time for you to come home amen all you need to do is say lord i need you mm -hmm. he said man i could do better than this yeah, yeah. He's, he's gifted you better than that yeah amen you know prisons jails <laughs> are full of people yeah. that need Christ, amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. And some of them have, but now they're serving mm -hmm. the saints. Mm -hmm. And they're doing the work for, for Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. How about Moses at the Red Sea? <laughs> wow. The Red Sea. I can't do anything about this. Mm -hmm. What can I do about this? You know? Mm -hmm. You see yourself and you don't see about your abilities. Make yourself available. Say, Lord, I need you. Mm -hmm. Moses made himself available. The Egyptian army's coming behind him. The Red Sea in front of him. What can I do, Lord? Lord, I need you. Mm -hmm. And he prayed, and the Lord opened the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord will do whatever it is that you need mm -hmm. at the time. Amen. Praise God. Lady with the issue of blood. He says, if I can just get close enough and touch him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And she did. And Jesus says, somebody touch me. <laughs> His disciples say, what are you talking about? There's people bumping all around you all the time. It's this crowd. It's a crowd. People are going to touch you. They're going to bump you. He knew somebody touched him that needed something. Mm -hmm. What about you? He knows when you need it. Right. And then he'll supply all your needs. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Lord, I need you now more than ever before. Amen. Then Lord, in the lion's den. <laughs> Boy, if I'm going to be thrown in the lion's den with a bunch of hungry uh, lions, guess what? <laughs> Lord, shut their mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shut them out, you know. And he did. Mm -hmm. Praise God. The people were expecting something else. Yeah. But they didn't. Right. Lord, surprised them, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about David and Goliath? We face daily giants all the time. Every day, there's giants out there. Whatever yeah. giant may be. Amen. Still, Lord, I need you. Be with me. What to say, what to do. You will. Amen. Just a few Bible heroes here. Joshua and the walls of Jericho. Jesus told him, God told him what to do. You know, he could have said, uh, wait a minute, I've been to general school. I've been to war school. <laughs> he never said anything about sending praisers around first. You send your best warriors up front. <laughs> but God told him what to do, and he did it. And guess what? It worked. Yeah. You know, Paul and Silas in, a, in the jail, in a prison. Right. They didn't complain. Mm -mm. They started praising God. Yes. And he showed up. Yes, amen. He did. So whatever your situation may be, Amen. Lord, I need you. I need you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> All these are good. Jonah in the, in the belly of, of the big fish. Mm -hmm. God told him what to do. He said, yeah. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And God has told one of us mm -hmm. what to do. And we said, no, I ain't ready for this. No, I don't want to do this. And just keep plowing in and mm -hmm. keep running all kind of problems. Somebody's listening. Somebody needs this. Yes. It's time you, you give in. But then he found himself in the belly of the whale. Mm -hmm. And then he says, okay, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. <laughs> A lot of us have found ourselves that way. Lord, oh, <laughs> I'm here. Use me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he did it. He spoke to the fish, went and spit him out where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. How about three Hebrew children? They threw him in the, in the fire. It was so hot. Mm -hmm. He says even the people that threw him in there, the soldiers, whoever threw him in there, were gone, died. Mm -hmm. That was hot. That's how hot it was. Yeah. Still, they called him Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was there, or God was there. He says, wait a minute, we throw three in there, but now, now we yeah. see four in there. Four. <laughs> Amen. So you know what? If he did it for them, he'll do it for you. That's it. But we, we have to remember this, mm -hmm. and we have to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And not fear. Yeah. Apostles call on Jesus and he calmed the storm. Yeah. Say, don't you care? We we perish. Mm -hmm. He calmed the storm. Say, well, who is this man? Even the the winds and, and the mm -hmm. sea obey him. Yeah. Well, you know what he wants to do? He wants to calm your storms. Yes, he does. There's a lot of storms in life. Right. But he right. wants to calm them for you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We need to be walking and talking and doing what he's called us to do. Right. Amen. We need to call on him to calm our storms, mm -hmm. our fearful problems mm -hmm. of life. Amen. Yes. So God is great. And he will be sought, and he is good, and he will be found. Right. When we draw close to him, good things will happen. Yes. Again, James 4, 7, and 8. Mm -hmm. Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, he'll flee from you. Draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your heart, right. you double-minded. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else you got for me. Mm -hmm. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart. Hebrews yes. 10.22. Right. Keep going. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Mm -hmm. To all who call upon Him in truth. Yes. Psalm 145 and 18. The Lord is near to all. You know, <clears throat> you can scratch that all and put your name there. Right. Personalize your Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is for me. Amen. This is for me. Yes. The Lord is near to Jose who calls upon him mm. and to Jose who calls upon him in truth. Yes. You can do this. You can start confessing the word of God. Yes. Things happen. Say, submit yourself to God. Resist mm. the devil. He's going to flee. I'm going to yes, start speaking yes. the word of God and he's going to have to go because he ain't going to want to hang out with you no more. Right. Amen. <laughs> Keep on. There we go. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Yes. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 4, 7 through 8. That's the New King James. Oh, Jesus. James 1 and 8 says this in the Amplified. Being double-minded man, unstable and restless, restless in all his ways, in everything he thinks, feels, or decides. Let's not be double-minded, amen. Let's not be double-minded. The Bible says renew your mind to the things of God. So we can't serve two masters. Amen. We got to serve Him only and not the world. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Woo, this is good. Yeah. God expects us to draw closer to Him. We do our part. He already has done His part. <laughs> He'll do His part. But He's already done His part. <laughs> Proverbs 3, 30 uh, through uh, 32 says this. New Living Translation. It says, Do not fight with a man for no reason. When he has done you no wrong. Do not be jealous of a man who hurts others. And do not choose any of his ways. For the, for the bad man is hated by the Lord. But he is closer or near to those who are right with him. So praise God. Amen. So praise the Lord. Many Christians will tell you that they uh, love God, they want to get close to God, they want to come to church, they want to change, but only a few succeed. Why? Because <laughs> they don't make time. They use a lot of excuses not to do what needs to happen. Amen? We got to submit ourselves. We got to surrender ourselves totally to Him. Amen? And make ourselves available to Him. We said, well, yeah, you know, I can speak and I can say, hey, I'm going. You'd be surprised how many people I see. Pastor, I'll be at church Sunday. And never, never see him. <laughs> I hope that's not one of you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Step out of your boat. Step out of your comfy place. And quit being shy and fearful. God loves you. And he loves to draw you close to him. That is the desire of his heart. It is a, it's good and uplifting to those who draw near to God on a daily basis. Not just once in a while, but on a daily basis. You got to do it on a daily basis. Friends, let's remember that. It is a daily walk. Revelation 3 and 16 says, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. You know? Again, some of us just want to be part-time 
Christians, believers, whatever you call yourself. Some of us just uh, once in a while, you know, remember a part-time Christian or believer is no match to a full-time devil. You're no match. You know, it's a spiritual battle that you fight on a daily basis. And if if you're not going to fight this full-time, you, you lose. You're no match to a, a, spir a, spir a spiritual battle. Amen. So praise God. Revelation 3 and 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and will sup with him and he with me. So I think last week I told you, God sent you, uh, Jesus sent you a, uh, a friend request. <laughs> yeah. Have you accepted it or deleted it or you just put it on hold? <laughs> Some of us have put him on hold for a long time. Some of us have never accepted him as a friend. It's time we accept him. It's time we receive him. The Bible says receive him. Amen. So praise God. But he's knocking. He don't give up on you. You give up on him. He hasn't changed. We have changed. So let's get it right. You know, let's not come and be Sunday Christians only. Okay? Let's not just be Sunday Christians and come and, and talk the talk and uh -huh. jump and holler and, and do all of this and pretend to be good Christians right. and we leave the four walls and we're somebody else. Right now. Okay now? <laughs> somebody needed that. But we got to be full-time believers all the time. Oh, the enemy yeah. knows. Amen. The enemy knows. Well, God knows also. You draw close to God. Spend time in prayer. Spend time with Him. Praise and worship Him. Spend time in the Word. Meditate on the Word. Yeah. The Bible says, uh, study to show yourself. Yeah. It's not going to come easy. You're just going to have to do some work on yourself. Jesus did His part. His part wasn't easy. But He succeeded. Amen. And then, after they crucified Him, He says, Father, forgive me. Yeah. But He says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we can do it also. If you try and do it in the flesh, guess what? You're going to fail. But we are, we are a spirit being. We have a soul and we live in this body. Right. We feed our spirit the word of God. We renew our mind with the we renew our, our soul, our mind, will, and emotion. We renew, renew our minds with the word of God. And we crucify the flesh. Amen. Because the flesh don't want to do anything. The flesh wants to be lazy. Comfy. Yes, so let's remember that. So cast all your troubles on him and he will help you. Be encouraged. He loves you. He knows everything about you, yes, good and bad, and he loves you the most. And some of us ignore him, some of us hate him. Let's not be that way. You know, he loves you the most than any anyone or anything. He won't disappear because of your past or your failures or your sin. That's right. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's I know it. you. Amen? Amen. And he's not going to give up on you. His love for you is everlasting. It's forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen? There we go. God's not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Say to you, one and seven. Keep going, okay? Kind of. And Jesus says, "Come to me, all of you who are weary and carrying a heavy burden, and I will give you rest." Amen. New Living Translation, Matthew eleven twenty-eight. Praise God. Jesus is a role model. Yes. In Ephesians, let's go to. Well, you don't have. If, well, I'll read it to you. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. But this is in the uh, in the uh, this is in the Amplified Bible. It's not in the King James. Well, the King James says, but ye therefore follow the God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also uh, loved us mm -hmm. and has given himself for us an mm -hmm. offering and a sacrifice to God for a, a sweet smelling savor. Yes. Now the Amplified, this is the Amplified, says this, 
Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. Okay? So if you're trying to do that in the flesh, you'll fail every time. Lord, give me the strength to follow you. Give me the strength to be like you. Amen? It says, uh, follow him. Be, uh, follow his example. As well-beloved children imitate their fathers. Yeah. And walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another. Yeah. As Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. A slain offering, a sacrifice of God. Yeah. For you so that it uh, became a sweet fragrance. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be imitators of him. Amen. Lord, I want to be yeah. like you. Help me to be like you. He's our role model. Mm -hmm. You want a role model? Children nowadays, you know, they watch so much TV. They got worldly uh, role models. And I've seen, I've heard uh, many uh, athletes, I've heard many uh, celebrities that say, don't follow me, I don't want, I'm not a role model. Because they know the children are going to follow them. Amen. But Jesus, let Jesus be your role model. Jesus prayed, so can we. He, uh, he taught his followers to pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, so can we. Paul spoke uh, his continual prayers. Amen. Praying. Yes. And so can we. The apostles gave themselves to prayer. And so can we. We can change. God help me to change. Amen. Right. He wants to change you. I want to be what you want me to be. And I want to make myself available to you, Lord. Amen. Don't see yourself a loser. Don't see yourself a failure. See yourself the winner, the champion, Amen. the original. God makes you to be. Don't stay in that failure right. thing. Amen. Get out of there. Amen. That, that, There's a great need for the church, the body of Christ, to draw near to God. That's Especially it. nowadays, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just say this. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. That's it. We just know that we get better because we draw closer to Him. Right. We draw closer to Him, and it gets better for us. Amen. Amen. But we need to stay strong when the world is getting weak, when the world is not changing, mm -hmm. when things are going bad. Mm -hmm. And you just go to Second Timothy chapter three, verse, and, and, and read that, and you find out in the last days what things is going to be like. Right. And it's happening before us every day. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm waiting for His return. Amen. And I've told you this so many times. When the world says, prepare yourselves for flu, prepare yourselves mm -hmm. for the heat, uh, uh, hurricane, prepare yourselves right. for, for bad weather, prepare right. yourselves for all these things. And we prepare ourselves. The Bible also says, prepare yourself. Jesus coming back. Mm -hmm. And we don't even do anything about it. Right. Let's get ready. Let's be prepared. Amen. 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 He's already told us he's coming back. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Matthew uh, 24, 12 through 14 says, Because of people breaking the law and sin being everywhere, uh -huh. the law, the love in the hearts of many people will become cold. Yes. But the one who stayed true to the end will be saved. That's it. This good news about the holy nation of God mm -hmm. must be preached all over or all over over all the earth it must be told to all nations and then the end will come Amen. you know as a child of God you know eternity is forever but for some the end will be there also what can I do about this well one of my favorite script, uh, uh, prayers 2 Chronicles 7 14 you know yeah. everybody talks about how bad things are the same Chronicles 7 14 says if yeah. my people, my people. Mm -hmm. my people, believers, mm -hmm. amen, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray mm -hmm. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, yes. then will I hear from heaven for, and will forgive their sins yes. and will heal their land. Yes. So, heal our land. Yes. We're praying. Praying to him. Says, if, if my people pray. Amen. So you including yourself, yes. not just you know, complaining right. and griping, you know, but include yourself. Yes. 
Let me see what else we got coming. I just said it, but John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. I know he loved the world so much. He yes. gave his only begotten son. Amen. And whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Keep going. <clears throat> and this on a daily basis. Yes. You can put this where, where, anywhere in, in the yes. house. This is the day which the Lord Amen. has made. We or I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You can scratch the we and put your name there. Yes. Okay. Let me personalize it. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Are you thankful for this day? Mm. Are you thankful for every day? Yeah. The world says, thank God it's Friday. That's the only only day they like. All the time. <laughs> no. Every day be thankful for every day. Every Amen. Day. But it says rejoice and be glad in it. If you keep he hearing the negative things, you won't be rejoicing and you won't be glad. But you know what? Thank you, Lord, that I woke up. Yes. Thank you that I'm here. And thank Amen. you. I make myself available to right. the use of you. And I'm going to do what you want me to do. Help right. me, Lord, to go and do what it is that you want me to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So we'll close. Let's not be like Peter. <laughs> Peter served Jesus from far off. Mm -hmm. Anyone, nobody know. Jesus, he says, he was ready to fight for Jesus. And Jesus says, before the night's over, before the day's over, mm -hmm. you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He did. Yep. And some of us have denied him more than that. But he's not giving up on mm -hmm. us. Still. Let's not stay in our closet. Yeah. Let's not stay in our boat. It's time right. to come out and say, I am a child of God. Amen. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. <laughs> For unto us it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. We need an attitude like that of the Apostle Paul. Amen. Yes. He got knocked off his horse. Mm -hmm. His name changed. And his life changed for him for the better and he spent most of his time in prison mm -hmm. but he wrote two-thirds of the new testament mm -hmm. and he didn't let prison in him yes, amen, right. even though he was in there but he didn't let things change and get into him yes, so right. praise god praise christians should have a regular take we should take at intimacy inventory on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Are you for him? Amen. Take that intimacy uh, inventory for God on yes. a daily basis. Lord, I'm here. I'm, I'm for you. Yes. And I'm available to you. Amen. So let's remember that church. Praise God. So I close with that. And uh, let's Praise remember God. to draw near to God. He'll draw yes. near to us. Yes. Cleanse your hands. You sinner and purify your hearts. You double-minded. Mm -hmm. So let's draw close to him each and every day. We are closer and closer to him because he's not walked away. Right. We've walked away. Amen. Right. So, Father, we just thank you for your precious word, Lord. Bless each and every one that's hearing right now, Father God, within the sound of my voice. Bless him, Lord. If there's anybody, Lord, that needs you right now, all you have to do is, is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And start living for Christ today. Yeah. From this day on. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let this be a, a, a day for you to remember. Amen. 9-11 yes. is coming up in a few days. But guess what? This day could be your day of giving your life to Christ. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Each and every day. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise God. If you're need a touch of God from, or a healing touch from God, you know, yeah. he says, by his stripes I'm healed. So, we're standing on your word, Father. Thank you. And by Jesus' stripes, we are healed from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. So, yes. we claim our healing right now. We receive our healing in Jesus' name. Whatever it may be. Amen. It's all different. But, by his stripes, we are healed. Praise God. Yeah. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. So, in giving, if you're watching or listening, and you still want to give, you can still give. Just go to our website, nbcbigbin.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. 
NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We love you. God loves you. Have a blessed week. Amen.